There's my mate Raj. Okay, There's my mate Raj. I shouldn't. Okay. I know you're busy. I'm going to catch up with you later. Okay, let's go for a wander around Newark Antiques Fair outdoors on a lovely sunny day. Might be a bit breezy. It's always a little breezy down here. A very flat lands, so it does get a bit breezy. But it's a good day. This is the first day. This is the Thursday. So probably a very busy day. Now, I am meant to be meeting some friends here, actually. We're going to have a little bit of lunch and a catch-up. So I might have to interrupt this video and, uh, and have some lunch, but we'll see how it goes. And the good thing with Newark and big fairs like it, you never know what's going to happen, who you're going to meet. So let's have a good wander around. Now there are lots of international buyers here as well. That's a great thing about Newark. I mean, it's so international. But people literally, dealers mainly, fly in from all over the world to buy stock here. And just look at this stock. That's a very unusual Georgian chest, press chest. So two drawers, that's sort of like 1790, 1800 with the press on the top looks like original handles too now that is a very good looking piece of furniture worth today what do you think it's worth 500 something like that remarkable value for money when you think that that to make new would be a few thousand pounds do you mind if i have a look at that lovely press of yours how are you but would you mind if I have a look at that lovely press? Can I? And would, would, can, would you chat to me about it? Yeah, good. Good to see you. I remember you as a bloody rogue when I was with them. Uh, what, are they, what are the affairs at Midlands? In the Midlands? Oh, you mean the, the Worcester, Worcester Way? No, the, the big I. Uh, oh, the NEC. No, no, no. No, no, no. Anyway, <clears throat> it was one of the fairs. We used to, we used to, we had a corner cupboard. I remember you going, coming to look at the corner cupboard and saying that they're not worth anything. And well, that's the thing, it was isn't 30 it? Thirty quid. It was. I know, I know. But did I buy it? No, you didn't buy it. I've well, never known you buy anything. I, I'm always, <laughs> I'm spending too much money. Talk to me about this press. What sort of money is it? I, 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 I reckon two, it's two hundred and eighty oh. quid. A moment ago, did you? Know, I said it was worth five hundred quid. It is worth five hundred quid. It's for nothing. Can we have a look? Let me show our viewers around the world the remarkable value for money. Two hundred eighty quid. Apps. That one's six fifty. That one is there. Oh, I'll have a look at that one in a minute, which is even more delicious. Two hundred and fifty pounds. This is oak. Two hundred eighty. Two hundred eighty. It's a kitchen cupboard. So original. Two piece. Two piece. Yeah. Sits in there, dead original. Look at that. And I think it's quite an unusual it size is, and shape, unusual, actually, yeah, isn't it? They're normally kind of a flight of drawers up to about yeah, this level. Are, yes, and then the press, it's very low. Let's have a look at these drawers. So it's had a handle change. Well, that's it's normal. Handles, that's yeah. normal. And you can see nice running repairs. And look at these ring marks. Don't you love them? I love them. 280 quid, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. 1790, 1800 in date. Yeah, about 1800. Yeah, look at that. Cross banded there in what a mahogany, I would suggest, or maybe a walnut. Oh, absolutely lovely. Now, this one you say is how much? 650. 650. Look at that. It's bang on that. Look at those. Oh, look at the pegs. Oh. Oh, do you know what? You what what's your name? David Latham. David, you can smell it. You've smell said it. it. You've, You've it. said it. Let me stick my head in there. Okay, viewers, wherever you are in the world, you're going to have to believe me. 
that this is just like the best aftershave aroma. Yeah, on, isn't it, David? It's, if I could wear this aroma, I'd be so popular with women. It'd be unbelievable. I promise you. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay, that's two pieces. Good God. Oh, what oh, date is that? Isn't that lovely? 60, 1961. So that's been in there forever since 61, hasn't it? Do you know what? The, the detailing in the construction here is... And what I love also, David, is that repair. Look at that. Yeah, they Really that honest. Repair. Look at that little one there, David. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that. I wonder how on earth that was damaged. It's probably shot by a musket ball or something. It's <laughs> the romance of it all. Oh my gosh. So it's had replacement liners there, but that's all right. It's had some worm it's on had, the yeah, down there. It? That's okay. It's all normal. It's all normal, David. But in a way, abnormal because that at 650 quid is bonkers. It's bonkers value for money, isn't it? It should be 15, 1800 pounds. No Easily. At all, 40 years ago. E exactly. When that was probably worth yeah. double what it is yeah. today. So. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, it's good to see you. I yeah. promise you I will buy something off you one day. Yes, I will, I, I promise. Yeah, yeah. I remember that corner cupboard. It was actually, we were filming a bargain hunt. I remember it's all come back to me. And I was saying to my teams, buy that corner cupboard. And we didn't buy it. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Oh, lovely to see, see you. It. Good to see you. Good to see you. See Thanks around. a lot. See you a lot on television. Well, here, let me give you my uh, YouTube and Facebook card. There anyway, we so I'll... Oh, that's the wrong one. Hang been on. Coming here for forty years now. Have you? Forty eight, years. Eight, Eighty-one. I am. Two, yeah. Two. There's my card upside down. Okay. <laughs> Find me on there. I'll see yes. you there. All right, David. Great Thank to you. see you. Nice to see you. Thanks a lot. Bye. 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 Do you know the people that you meet at these fairs? So David, I do remember that time I met him actually. So we were filming a bargain hunt, but just a proper dealer. A guy that knows what he's doing and you can see by just the look on his face, he still loves it, doesn't he? You gotta learn from these people in fact. And the great thing with coming to a fair like this and you meet people like David, is that they will share their knowledge with you. They really will. They're not scary to talk to. They, they want to talk to you. They want to share the love. Ah, now then, have a look over there now. Um, <laughs> there's my mate Raj. Hey, there's my mate Raj. I shouldn't, okay. I know you're busy. I'm gonna catch up with you later. Okay. Nice to see that he's wearing his ordinary clothes for work. <laughs> it's a bit of a secret behind the scenes. <laughs> Honest to God, you've got to come here. You really do. Actually, the food is good. It's a bit fattening, admittedly, but burgers and that kind of thing. Sometimes you need food like that, don't you? And I'm going to be having that in a minute when I find my friends. I'm going to look out for some very dapperly dressed chaps. One an antique dealer, one an auctioneer. They'll stop making a racket if they see me, don't you worry. There is so much to do, but I am now starving. So I'm going for lunch. See you later.